Lighters up, Pisces. It's your girl, the Stoner Girl Tarot. And I'm back with your weekly reading, Pisces. Thank you so much. You already know the drill. Roll up with me. Light up with me. Drop down in the comments. Let me know what you're smoking on. And if you don't smoke, no worries. You're still more than welcome. Pisces. Peace and blessings to all of you. Thank you for subscribing and hitting that notification bell to be notified of the next smoke session. You already know this is a general reading, so everything may not fit your situation. Just take whatever applies and let the rest fly. Bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Pentacles, Pisces. So you may be juggling or switching back and forth between thinking one way and another way. So we're going to see what this is about. Spirit, what's going on with Pisces this week? With the star in reverse, we got the tower in reverse, and then we have the queen of cups here. So you're, you could be dealing with Scorpio or Aquarius energy. You still want to give your love and attention to something that may be just, it's time to let it go. But you still have hope in this situation. Either that or... Someone is giving you attention and affection from outside of your relationship and you are afraid, <coughs> excuse me, you may be afraid to go towards this person, not only because you're in a relationship, because you are afraid of change. You know, could this person offer me something that's better than I already have or will I, you know, go into a situation that's even worse than what I'm already in? Let's clarify this though. could be dealing with an Aries. You're trying to manifest an, a beginning with someone. Like you may be going, some of you are going through a divorce or you're just in this energy of, okay, I need to heal. And you're trying to manifest either a new person or you are trying to manifest ending things with this person. Let's dig deeper. Where's this energy coming from? Capricorn energy here with the devil. You want someone to return or you want to return to them, to this relationship in hopes of putting it back together. For some of you, you were dealing with someone who was toxic or you are the toxic person because there's this energy of it keeps breaking, but I keep fixing it the same way or they keep fixing it the same way. Like someone needs to hear that. Or it's like, I want to fix this situation or I want this situation, this relationship to go the way I want it to go. Clarify that. Like, or you could be dealing with someone, yeah, Page of Swords, who not only is this person insecure, they could be look, looking for shit on you, but you could be dealing with someone who claims they want to do right or do the right thing or fix things, make things better, but they're not. And so that's where all this current energy is coming from. Um, someone trying to fix it. It's like someone is too late. Like, why are you trying to fix this now when I don't even want to talk to you? How does this person feel about you, Pisces?
they want your attention. They probably want to have sex with you. Um, or they just want your attention because they know that, well, let's see. What else? Three cards. One more card. Cancer energy here with the moon card in reverse. We have someone who Sorry about that. We have someone here who um, they could definitely be a fire sign as well, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But we have someone who is very good looking, um, very popular, or just, you know, a successful person. But they're, they feel like something about you isn't right. And they're stuck in their head about it. Like you may be hiding something, um, something about the situation or you puzzles them it perplexes them they think about it a lot what is this whatever it is is like they're tired of thinking about it with the ten of wands here this talks of burdens this talks of stress this also um talks about someone who is exhausted Some of you, you're dealing with someone who feels that you're jealous or that you don't have enough hustle about you. Pisces, they could be feeling that you feel this way about them. You know, take it how it resonates. What are this person's intentions towards Pisces? What are their intentions towards Pisces? They could, they could make an impulsive decision to reach out to you to, uh, with the five of swords in, a, in reverse, maybe they want to give you an apology or um, maybe they are trying to, I'm sorry y'all. For some of you, this person, they're trying to get rid of these petty feelings they have and you know trying to get their lick back like you know this person probably goes back and forth with that like should I reach out to this person and apologize should I try to do some petty shit you know just because so they're going back and forth between those thoughts how do you feel about this person sorry for the noise y'all Some of you do want to reconnect with this person. Yeah, you're rethinking about the way things ended. Yeah, because you see the potential with the Nine of Cups in reverse. You're unhappy. This is unfulfilled wish fulfillment. Um, the Hangman in reverse. This is your energy. You want more. You want more out of this relationship. You feel, some of you feel like it ended too soon. What's the outcome for this week? Some of you are definitely dealing with a fire sign. So, with this energy right here, as far as the outcome, we have the King of Wands, who's all about action, passion, a strong interest. But we have someone who is still, their feelings are hurt, you know, wounded warrior energy. And then we have, because of that, the loss of an opportunity this, this week. 
Um, some of you have been dealing with this person for a minute and maybe they're tired of the back and forth. Maybe you are. And so because of that, you're not really thinking about putting in any effort in a new beginning. You're not trying to put the effort into that, at least for this week. But you're someone is definitely thinking about reaching out, definitely thinking about, oh, I miss this person. I miss their attention. You know, I wish they would come back to me. So, yeah, leave me a comment if that resonates. I'm going to draw a crystal oracle card to see which crystal could help you with this energy this week. Green aventurine. I know that's a good money stone. So maybe you need to focus on your money this week or, you know, trying to make a new stream of revenue for you or whatever. This is good for the heart chakra. Some of you are about to get some type of position of leadership. And because of that, you will be asked to use your heart to guide others with compassion and empathy. This can help you do that. This can also, if you do talk to this person, it could help you be in the energy of, you know, listening, being compassionate, showing empathy. If you feel that that person is, you know, deserving of that. But yeah, I definitely think your person is thinking about reaching out. This could be you as well, Pisces. So yeah, let me know if this resonates. Leave me a comment and I'll see you later.